We got another good size iguana out here hanging out right next to the owl. You can see the owl to the left at his hole. And the iguana is at 45 yards. Three and 42, 45 yards, stuff like that. Shooting on the highest power. 14 grain. Got you, Iguana. Sniper super accurate in the 40 yard range um, is what we're finding, especially on the highest power. We're using 14 grain pellets right here, Crossman hollow points. Um, they actually shoot through it really well. I know everybody likes the JSBs and all these 18 grain pellets, but um, we have a lot of luck with the 14s, and, um, and we do like the 18s as well, but we usually use them on larger iguanas. There's a small green iguana right there on top of that wooden pallet to the right. I'll try to take a shot at it on low power. Loaded the chamber, shoot 18 grain into the wind, aiming right at him because, I mean, uh, right above him. Got you, Iguana. Let's go see if it even made a dot on the pallet or not. Here's our guy, straight through the head, and then here's where our pellet hit. Let's see if I can focus in on it. Let's see. Hit right here. Where's my hand? Darn it. Cannot see. There. That's where the pellet hit. There we go. Here's where the pellet hit. And, uh, yeah, put a little dent in the wood, but not the end of the world. Definitely in piercing stuff. And, of course, I shot this from only about 10 yards away. There's the truck right there. So, uh, maybe 12 yards. And, got you, Iguana. This is ridiculous. So these poor people are dealing with Egyptian geese that are nesting on top of their home. And the racket and the noise is ridiculous. It resonates and just carries like you were in the freaking Alps or something, golden or something. The goose just goes on and on. Imagine that outside your bedroom window. People ask, what's wrong with the geese? These invasive species? Look what it's doing. Imagine that on your roof. It won't even breathe. It just sits there. Rah, 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 rah. Egyptian geese. There's four of them up there. That's their finest. So it's probably about 7.15 p.m. right now. And this is what's going down. It's 7.15 p.m. There's a very small iguana on the corner of the um, drainage here. 
we're um, about 15 yards, maybe a little more. It's really small, y'all. His head's got to be smaller than a quarter. I got a serious wind I'm waiting. Yeah, it's probably gusting about 25. Really? Yeah, dude, this is a steady, eh, 20. I'm going to take it. No, no. Dropped him. I mean, flipped him. That's amazing. Recording, start talking. We have an iguana about 10 yards in front of us, maybe 13. Shooting on the second power, just uh, holding just above his head. Got you, iguana. I mean, exactly where we were trying to hit. Got you, Iguana, holding a half mil dot over the head because we were under 20 yards and I sighted at 20. at a job that we've done for about a year and a half. We got this job because nobody else would take it. They have a problem with iguanas on the rooftop at every single house. They even had some trees that were being killed. People were having to have trees removed. We'll try to show you all the tree that we saved. It was only a stump, a stump when I came and now it's a huge tree. So we'll be happy to show you all uh, those sort of results. But right now there's an iguana around this corner and pay attention to all the stuff this lady's done to her screen porch to try to keep iguanas out. He was right here, so I'm expecting to be just as we come over the top. And they usually go a little left. It looks like they cleared out some plants here. Okay, so we did not find the iguana behind this lady's house. It disappeared on us. But when we come out, there's one on the top of the roof of this house. Behind this house is a large lake, so it's a very safe to take a shot. We're just going to try to get where we think we can actually get him with this wind. About 30 yards away, shooting on high 18 grain range masters. Car. Got you iguana! <laughs> bum, 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 oh bum, man, bum, 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 they bum, have a screen bum, in the back. Let's go see if we can get it. I've been on the roof a number of times, so we'll be able to retrieve it. Oh, I think that was an iguana. You heard that? No, I thought I saw an iguana. heard something like that. Great shot. Thank you. Probably about 35 yards. I'm afraid he's rolled down as I put on the screen. 
He's upside down with his tail. Yeah, good eye. Is, yeah. Good eye. Man, the sun is kind of blinding right now if we have to look that way. Let's yeah, he's start. taking a nap. That he's sleeping. Mm hmm. He got sleeping fast. Sam, the Sandman came over. This isn't Sandman. This is the Soul Reaper. <laughs> Iguana Soul Reaper. All right, so we tried to pull off. And Jermaine says that we have even a better volunteer, a bigger volunteer on the roof. So let's go see if we can get him to. Oh, I see him from here. Should we get him from this way or was it a better angle over there? Um, oh. Probably the other, the other way was probably a better angle for you. Hey, buddy. He's out. Nice. Flipped him over. Alright, so we have two last iguanas to pull off of the roof. They're the first two that we shot here. my god y'all gotta see this you gotta come see the blowout shot on this that was the one we shot on full power so the entrance is here we were shooting on high power 18 grain about 25 30 yards away i think Look at the blowout on the other side. No wonder we got you, Iguana. There was no surviving that shot. Got you, Iguana. And then this guy, we also got some nice placement. Our Iguanas are never shot up all over the body. Got you, Iguana. We got another Iguana on the roof, new house. This would be Iguana number three. What do you get? Again, we have a lake behind this house if we catch the right angle, like this. Got you, Iguana! <laughs> I saw that hit. Curled up. There he goes, he fell over. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. And if that wasn't a dramatic death, got you iguana. Dropped him. Got you iguana. <laughs> On the move. You know what's keeping it going on. It'd be cool if he wiggled all the way down like a that's, slide. That's impressive. From the time she walked up, took her stance, gauged how far of a distance he was, had the gun up, had him in the crosshairs, and dropped him. Like, you do the count. You saw how fast that was in real time. Yeah, she 
That's the uh. Dude. <laughs> That's the because she's power. just talking to you. We can't even pull up to your house. And bingo. Look at him with his feet up in the air. Like yeah, he's up there. You sang my battleship. <laughs> e4. There's an iguana right in front of me. He's about 35, 40 yards away. He's extremely hard to see. He's as tall as the grass. I'm going to try to get about five yards closer and take the shot. He just moved. Right there, right there. The wind, oh my god. I think I got it. Let's go check this out. All right. Let's see. About 10 yards away. Got you a one. That is so impressive. The first shot I didn't hold over high enough. Um, I only did about um, three quarters or right at a mill. And this is uh, too low because his head was up like this. So I probably hit about a half inch lower than I was aiming. So I, I probably should have done like a, a mil and a half or something or uh, yeah. Um, but the second shot worked. Second shot straight right where we want it. Just above the ear, right behind the eye. is kind of one of my favorite spots to hit them. So uh, I'll take it. Got you iguana. He was a sneaky one, huh? Oh yeah. Okay. okay guys, we're gonna shoot this iguana that just walked up on us right next to us along the water, about 10 yards away or less. Gonna hold over almost a full two mils. Got you iguana. I mean, didn't thanks for the pointer, it... Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Good spot. And where did he magically appear from? You think he was underwater and he came out? I have no clue. He probably ran out with trying to figure out where Earl went. Dang. Earl always gets away. Mm, mm, mm. Got you, Jimmy. <laughs> okay, guys, we just pulled over the truck. We found another iguana. This is going to be number eight, hopefully. So we've got an iguana right here underneath the awning. Whenever I get. He's actually still right there. Whoa, she rocked him. Got you, Iguana. That, the audible on that was... Whew, pull the binoculars out and take a look. You. I don't know if it's because they have eggs in them or they're hollow, if that's the reason that, that impact sounds like that. It definitely catches your attention. He is not moving. We're going to come back and pick him up with the others. I think that's four we need to collect off the of roofs. Got you, Iguana. Impressive. Let's go get that Iguana.
Between the ear, mouth, and eye, right there. That's where we're winning. Blew his jaw off, bottom jaw off. That's the first shot. First shot blew off his jaw, second shot went right here. Got you, Iguana. Yes, you All right, friends, we got eight iguanas today. We've been here exactly uh, an hour and 45 minutes. We got about 10 minutes to wrap up, and we'll be here for the, the exact cutoff of two hours as intended. Um, we got some really great shots off today. Um, thanks to that. Sniper XR Magnum. This gun's available with Air Guns of Arizona. We got the zero decibel um, suppressor on it. There's a 22 cal. We usually did these shots around the second um, setting on the gun. And most of these shots were 18 grain, but there were a few 14 grain crossmans um, in there. So uh, it depended on if we were shooting directly at house, housing or just a roof tile or the ground. And um, so, got you iguana. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, we're so happy to share it with you. All right, guys. So we've gotten a number of questions about how I've gotten into this, and how do I know about animals and things like that. We've addressed it before in an older video, but I just thought I'd answer a couple quick questions to clear things up. So uh, my name's Jessica. I'm the owner of Iguana Solutions. I opened the company because other wildlife companies wouldn't hire me. Um, I've been told everything from girls can't lift the ladder to um, all kinds of fun stuff. So um, it was just easier to open my own company and uh, write my own contracts, secure my own insurance and make it happen. Um, I do not come from a hunting family and uh, so I've had to learn air guns as I go and I only shoot iguanas as a last resort. Um, I got into the air guns because we needed a quality air gun to be able to take out the iguanas humanely, quickly, and accurately to ensure that we don't damage buildings and shoot over buildings like some people have been concerned about on our comments. Um, so we're able to highly predict the type of power that our gun is putting out and where the pellet's going to go and all types of um, concerns that people have. We definitely have the same concerns and um, have taken a number of steps to address them. So to address everybody's questions about my knowledge about animals and reptiles and iguanas specifically, um, I have loved animals my whole life. I have, um, as a child, you couldn't stop me from chasing a lizard. I would just go ahead and get in trouble. I was nearly kicked out of Catholic school for picking up a rattlesnake in first grade principal's office and all um, so uh, it kind of comes naturally to me but I have dedicated a lot of effort into learning about um, nature uh, reptiles invasive species I have a degree in biology from LSU go Tigers and um, so I also have a minor in chemistry so I have a bit of knowledge about a number of different things that affect the iguanas and different animals that we work with um, I have long been part of Audubon Society, even as a young child, so that's how I know the birds that we see. And um, I'm two classes away from having a minor in entomology, which is insects, and two classes away from having a minor in geology. Um, so yeah, we uh, have a lot of opportunities to learn about animals, and I think that we try to capitalize on those opportunities, and so it gives us a chance to share that information with you.